Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So, the last video i done, um, I just want to apologise. I forgot to uh, press the 4K option. I filmed that uh, video in 1080p. And, um, yeah, I forgot to uh, press the 4K option. But I'm filming in 4K now. So, I've got some bad news to um, start 2018. One of my Egyptian predatory beetles, Anitha Sex Maculata, has sadly passed away, I'm afraid. Uh, I woke up this morning and I noticed this here. Uh, you can see a, a mealworm in there. I tried to feed it a little bit uh, earlier, but it wasn't really interested. I put the mouth parts over the water dish, had a little bit of a drink, and then probably 20 minutes later, it uh, sadly passed away, I'm afraid. So let's take the enclosure off the shelf and uh, let's take a look. So like I said, I found it like this this morning. It was moving a little bit. And like I said, just a little bit earlier, I picked it up with my 12 inch tongs, put the mouth parts over the water dish and it had a little bit of a drink, but it was uh, struggling and um, as you can see, I gave it a, a, a mealworm. Wasn't really interested in eating that. And you can see it's um, sadly passed away, I'm afraid. But the question is, ladies and gentlemen, how old are these beetles? Now, I've got no idea how old they actually are. Uh, there was adults when I bought them in March 2017, which was 10 months ago now. So I've got no idea how old they are. The other one's perfectly fine. That's uh, walking around its enclosure. And I gave that one a feed a little bit earlier. But um, yeah, like I said, a very uh, sad way to start 2018. But not much you can do, I'm afraid. You know, bugs don't last forever. And um, there might have been, it might have been an old female i personally think this one's a female this one's a little bit smaller and not as bulky as the other one this one's a very more slender looking as well so yeah while we're here everybody let's take a look at the other one so ladies and gentlemen there is my only egyptian predatory beetle left in my collection now doing perfectly fine this one as you can see it's a little bit bigger than the other one but while we're here, everybody, let's just get a small mealworm and give it a feed. It's uh, moving around a lot. <laughs> here it goes. And these do have a, a very high appetite. They'll eat almost anything. Dubia roaches, um, red runners, crickets, mealworms, superworms, I'll eat virtually anything. But as you can see, this one's doing fantastically well. And what do you think of the 4K, everybody? I think it's even a lot better than my previous video I've done. Unfortunately, there's still no light option on the uh, time lapse, which is a, a little bit of a shame. But it's uh, eating that mealworm perfectly fine. So a little bit gutted the other one's passed away, but um, as I've said, they don't last forever. And um, I've got no idea what the age is. To be honest, I should have bought some from the BTS last year. They were a little bit smaller than these, so I could have them a little bit longer. So, yeah, I think I'll leave this one now to continue it in its meal. And I hope you enjoyed this short video, everybody. And I'm sorry it's a bit sad at the uh, start. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.